welcome back everyone now as we were discussing about geotechnical engineering further let's move on and now we will be discussing about relation among different soil parameters okay so let's move forward what we will be discussing the basic relation between different soil parameters sorry look at the basic relation and just you have to know the basic terminology which have we have discussed in the previous lectures okay so now let's move forward yt what was yt first of all the expression for yt what is this is, what is this is not yt actually it's gamma t okay so what is gamma t bulk unit weight what is it bulk unit weight this is bulk unit weight let's see what is first of all we are to actually the final relation is this gs plus se upon 1 plus e into gamma w now how is it this obtain let us see first of all you know that gamma t is w by v okay total total if you remember the bulk was resembling to the total weight upon total volume so this is the total weight upon total volume then what is total weight we know that the air has no weight so what we are left with we are left with ws and ww again in vs we have all the three parameters so we will be writing it as vs and vv only what is vv vv you know volume of void which will be comprising of va and vw okay here for the time being let us write it as vv only now you can see ws is taken common which gives us 1 plus ww upon ws again vs is taken common which gives us vv by vs and 1 here so what is this ww upon ws if you remember this is w what is w water content water content okay it's water content and what is e e will be means the vv upon vs is e and what is e e is void ratio e is void ratio so this will be written as w and this will be written as e so what we get now w s what is this w s is this w s only okay and vs is this vs only 1 plus w upon 1 plus e so further let's move on now what we will do is just ws upon vs we have here okay if you remember what is g or gs what is gs if you remember it was gamma upon gamma let us write as gs so here will be s okay soil solid we are talking about upon gamma w okay the formula was this one if you remember and what is w, gamma s if you remember it was ws upon vs so ws upon vs is gamma s and gamma w is there so if we want to find the value or expression for this ws upon vs what we can write we can write it as let me write it here ws upon vs whole upon gamma w is equals to g okay so we get here g into gamma w okay this will go here so ws upon vs will be g into gamma w the same is done here you can see gs into gamma w this is the same thing and other are parameters are the same 1 plus w is here and 1 plus e is also here so finally we multiply this gs gamma w inside and we get as this gs plus se of into gamma w upon 1 plus e yes this se you might be get confused how it is there actually in the, when you multiply with this because gamma w is here only so th what we get here when we multiply inside we will get gs gamma w plus gs gamma w into w okay now leave this gamma w because it's already out here so we will be remaining with gs into w now if you remember the expression which i was saying you s into e is equal to w into gs into w okay so just this gs into w is substituted with this part s into e so you can write it here s into e okay that's fine so finally we get this expression alternatively what we can do is 
the same again expression w s upon this we can we have obtained here after that we can directly replace this with this part. So, we, we can get you can go by, by this method because it will make you clear your concepts as well because we have used a number of formulas in this derivation. Okay. It is an important relation please remember it. Let us move forward expression for gamma saturated. Now, you remember I hope gamma saturated it is the saturated unit weight. What is it? It is saturated unit weight. Okay, saturated unit weight. So, what is gamma saturated? It is actually G s plus E upon 1 plus E into gamma w. Now, I think you have understood how has this come. If not, let me tell you. You just now uh, derived the expression this gamma t is G s plus S e upon 1 plus E, okay, this is 1 plus E into gamma w. So, this S e part you can see there is S is degree of saturation and E is void ratio obviously. In this case when we are talking about gamma saturated you if you remember this is for the fully saturated condition only. So, S will become 1 ok S will become 1. So, we will get the expression of G S plus E upon 1 plus E into gamma W which I have written here ok. Let us go forward. Now, gamma D what is gamma D again? this is for dry unit weight dry unit weight dry unit weight ok. The final expression becomes to be G s gamma w upon 1 plus e. Now, how has this come again the same expression the first one gamma bulk because this is the gamma bulk expression and modifications are done in this only to get gamma saturated or gamma w or any other things ok. So, just we have to first remember this only this is the main part just then we have to modify according to the conditions. Now, in this case gamma d you know this is dry unit weight dry unit weight means s is equal to 0 what is this s is equal to 0 if you put in this expression this will become 0 what are we left with g s gamma w upon 1 plus c. E. So, it is derived ok. Also we have a number of expressions for gamma d ok. So, we have a number of formulas I mean. So, one you have already derived here you can see. Now, let us move to the other the another expression is gamma t upon 1 plus w gamma t is gamma t if you remember just I told you bulk unit weight ok. It is a bulk unit weight. So, we can say that this expression now gives us the relation between gamma t and gamma d ok. Now, how is this formed let us see you know that this is w by v gamma t ok. Again this will be w s plus w w and this is total v let not let us not bifurcate it we will not be requiring it. Just now again just we have done the before w s is taken common what we will get w w if you write it here elaborated form w s is taken common we will get 1 plus w w upon w s is it ok and what is this expression this is w. So, we write here direct 1 plus w ok. So, w s 1 plus w upon v. Now, what is this w s by v this is gamma d ok this is gamma d. So, finally, what we get gamma d this part will come in the denominator of this and will form gamma t upon 1 plus w ok. So, let us move forward. Another expression as I told you there are number of expressions for ga gamma d. So, this is the final expression we will be discussing here again see what is N a it is V a by V if you remember it is V a by V into 100 which was the percentage of air voids ok. So, percentage of air voids we had just discussed so it was V a by V. So, let us re uh, replace it with and uh, V a by V for this part then just take a LCM we will and what how is this formed this will be V minus V a by V ok from this part we get here and from here again moving forward this is what is v this will be v a plus v w plus v s ok 
this 3 will constitute total view v upon minus v a upon v this gets cancelled out is it okay so what are we left with we are left with, with this which is written here further we bifurcate it into two two different parts okay and use the formula for you can see this this is where it is obtained from g the formula for specific gravity now this is for water so let us write it as <coughs> gw only okay so gw is 1 if you run no the specific gravity of water is 1 so this will be gamma w will be what is gamma w w w upon v w okay so if we bifurcate it then we can use this part here as v w means we need the v w value so v w can be written as gamma w this will be gamma w okay again okay, i'm missing it up w w upon gamma w okay this is v w so we can write here after bifurcating it we can write it here so this is the expression similarly we have obtained this one as well okay just after that using simple mathematics we can get it it's not used that much but anyway you can, you can remember it it will it is comprising of what gamma d what is n a percentage uh, air voids and all other general su such as g s and w okay remember one or more thing here yeah? uh, the value of gamma w okay you can write you can see that it's here in the formula we can use it as 10 when nothing is given what is 10 10 kilo newton per meter cube okay or if it is mentioned then 9.81 kilo newton per meter cube okay so let's move forward now what is gamma dash this gamma dash is gamma saturated or saturated oh sorry submerged Submerged unit weight. This is submerged unit weight. Okay. What's the relation? G minus one upon one plus e into gamma w. Again, this is also obtained nearly from the same equation the equation for gamma t okay with some modifications how submerged unit weight if I, you remember uh, gamma saturated minus gamma w i have already uh, explained this to you just replace the gamma saturated expression which we obtained from gamma t here and just simplify means gs plus e upon 1 plus e gamma w minus gamma w just take the lcm and simplify it to get this gs minus 1 upon 1 plus e into gamma w okay so let's move forward now what is this s s is the degree of saturation let's see how is it related to different parameters first of all you already know that v w upon v v is the expression for gamma saturate or degree of saturation okay now using the formula for g s we now write v w just as i explained before will be forming this expression and for v v what is v v v v will be you can write it as total volume okay minus volume of soil solids so this is used here to get this expression then just simplify it to get this one okay generally we do not require this i have just told you to so that you can get informed about the expression you not need not require to memorize this expression okay because as the maximum uh, formula we use for uh, getting s is s into e is w into g s okay so to get s generally this formula is used otherwise the basic formula which we already know v w upon v v 
okay this will do for the degree of saturation so this is it for now now just next classes we will be discussing some more concepts about bulk density dry density and all okay thank you